This is Math 98, the final practice test, problem number two. And we're supposed to simplify this, so let's deal with it. Um, I'm just gonna do it one piece at a time. Negative four divided by 16. That's just like negative four sixteenths. So that's, the whole thing's still negative. Negative divided by positive. Four goes into 16 four times, so that leaves me four in the denominator. Um, and there's a one up here. I'm gonna write it, you know, I, if something else ends up up top, I won't need to write it. Um, so x to the negative three, x to the fifth. That negative exponent, remember what that negative exponent does is it takes the reciprocal of it. It switches where that piece is at in the, in the fraction. So this x to the fifth is still down here, but this x to the negative third is the same as x to the third in the denominator. Similarly with these y's, y to the negative eighth takes a reciprocal of it. It flips that piece of the fraction. So y to the eighth, and then y to the negative two, that pushes this down. Notice the only things that move were things that were taken to a negative power. Now I'll do some simplifying. One times negative eight, uh, negative one times y to the eighth, negative y to the eighth. Let's see, down here I have a four. x to the fifth times x cubed, that's x to the eighth, eight of them, y squared. And I'm not quite done yet, because I can do some simplifying here. Two of these y's cancel out two of those y's, so that leaves me negative y to the sixth, 4x to the 8th, 